gentlemen, from the eighth wonder, the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the blue corner, standing with head trainer Roberto Garcia, wearing black with red, 38 victories, including 27 knockouts with six defeats. Antonio Margarito. Red corner, standing with head trainer Freddy Roach, wearing white with gold. 51 victories, including 38 knockouts with three defeats. Manny Pacquiao. Protect yourselves all times, understood? Play Olympia, you win a sweat thing, touch him up, let's have a great fight. Prior to the fight, Antonio Margarito's hand wrapping exercise was because of his recent history. Carefully, members of Pacquiao's camp believed they saw Antonio drinking coffee or taking an ephedra based substance in the dress athletic commission. The athletic commission had to bring the tides. Eventually, it was determined that a drug test after the fight gave no indication that he ever considered not entering the ring the fight. So here they are. Pacquiao trying to get inside and go to the body. And Emmanuel's up at an angle robs you of power, does it not? Yes, it does. So he has and a better chance. Dominant punch in the fight has been his left jab. And the last thing people expected to see was Antonio Margarito yeah. stand in the ring and boxing with Manny Pacquiao. But that's what's happening. Margarito, when he's jabbing with a little left step back. Bring Margarito's arms and head down. Well, one thing, Manny makes adjustments as the fight goes on. He's a very intelligent fighter. Margarito has thrown almost exclusively gut and landed it on Margarito's face. And Margarito has shown a good jab, especially early in the round, but Pacquiao's dominated this round with the right hook. With the jabs of Margarito's too. The speed of the Margarito. Nice and Long jab, long jab, long jab. Take him on with the last, the jab. The output for Antonio Margarito in round one seems very low but he has had trouble getting rolling in the early parts of some of his fights notably the paul williams margarito still content to stand in the middle of the ring and box with manny pacquiao has not tried to drive him to the more than we used to seeing in recent fights yeah, he and here margarito margarito has landed not only because this fight you guys see right here there still yeah, the loss of power from punching up could be a factor in the fight I still see the same facial expression that Margarita had when he fought Cotto. I mean, you're not yeah, supposed yeah, to be I'm on the ropes. So he keeps saying side, 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 but I just see. That was the first time that Pacquiao found his body against the ropes. And if there was one thing, never. Lighter fighter when he would go toe-to-toe -to -toe more with some of the great Mexican fighters that he beat south of lightweight. When he gets close. Uppercuts for Margarito, his favorite punch. Right hand uppercut there. This is why when you ask me, couldn't be a man this big. Delectable experience, perhaps, for Margarito. It's too early, it's too early to start banging with this guy. Let's when I was saying, giving you the keys to victory early, I said Margarito didn't work. Left uppercut to the middle because in the past it's shown that Pacquiao is very vulnerable for Pacquiao. It's too early to start trying to bang this guy around. You need to soften him up a little. Manny Pacquiao looked vulnerable, and he's looked a little. Pacquiao pressing the speed advantage. Margarito still fighting for him, an unfamiliar fight. He doesn't have the kind of jab that will bother Pacquiao. First three rounds, Margarito's gathering Pacquiao. Good flush. Another one. Little right hook inside for Pacquiao. Despite. Landed on the chin. Pacquiao flirts with the corner there, then moves away. Now his back is against the ropes. More the action. Pacquiao hits him flush with a big left hand. So what a clean shot. But in the meantime, I, I still see that the way Orson managed to back back. And it, it's, it's a difference in moving this round is that Margarito's gloves are split and he can throw his left hand straight up the middle. Oh, 
home, okay? Okay, okay. Not too far away. Not when he's moving. I watch and beautiful punches, even with his defense up. Margarita Shea was getting good punches. The accurate pinpoint punching pals packing. But also, you notice at the end of the seventh, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, I love this. the right, then he throws the left, then he steps to the side. So when Margarito comes at it, because the guy ain't there. You know, that's good green generalship. Pacquiao does it all. Three to nothing, Pacquiao. I got a wide fight for Pacquiao. I think Margarito's doing well in spots and rounds, but I haven't seen a round I thought, oh, maybe one. No, I, I give that. I give all three rounds for Pacquiao also. I think he's going to go the distance in case he gets a knockout fan. But, you know, even though he's landing and winning the fight, he's got to be for the whole game. I think you're looking at 12 rounds. What we see On the here. other hand, Margarito is, according to interpreter Jerry Olaya, he has no power, he can't hurt me, as he has a big red welt under his right eye. So Pacquiao can do that. Yeah, Margarito's saying that in story. Indeed. And Pacquiao's beginning to land with almost every... And better and faster than Mosley, but he's not as physically strong and has to do body punch Margarito right. around the ring. Yeah. Yeah. He's beating Margarito up in this round. Body There's shot. a huge rope under Margarito, kicking Margarito up, and he's hurting him. I and Margarito can say, oh, body punch, I think, and maybe they took all of the starch out of him. What's happening now? And Pacquiao, no matter how... No, but what, he, what makes him different from a lot of the day's fighters, he punches through his... Most of the fighters today, they punch at the target. Very seldom do they penetrate. Pacquiao in this round, even though he wasn't doing too much and he was losing. But seemed like that one body punch. See the left hand shot to the body, which I think started all of the serious problems. Even though he was being outpointed, seemingly with that shot, he never has recuperated. Notice his body form is bending over as if he's still hurt from the body punch. Pompey Box tells us just ever landed on Antonio Margarito in a single round. And you know, Pacquiao is doesn't just waste punches. His punches are very accurate. I think he's the most accurate puncher in boxing, Emmanuel. He the ability to adjust the punch in mid arc. Yeah. Margarito going to the body at a moment that Margarito actually made it look for a moment. Like this, this like his fight against Cotto. And here comes. What a great fight against him. Okay. As, Absolutely, as, he jolted as, as, back, or jolted Mark down there. Jolts him with a right hook there. Pacquiao's fight spirit is something to behold. He loves the bet of an exchange. That's why it's hard to win rounds against him, because if you get, you get your back before the bell rings. And look, that was likely here for Margarito. He said, look, I hope he goes up to 180. Every pound. Pacquiao takes his... He have a lot of snap on his punches, did yeah, he? That's right. You might have seen me have changed the fight tremendously. Since Manny's a southpaw, it wasn't a left hook to the body, it's a left cross, but the oh, bottom Margarita. line... Pacquiao staggering Martirigo momentarily there. Big right hook. Great shot. Another... Not for Antonio Margarito, who at the height of his career a few years ago was averaging 100 punches per round. And when you start to get hit hard by somebody like Manny Pacquiao. A move from side yeah, to this side. Is, this is what I said he should do continually. There's no way Margarito can no, find him. No. no way Margarito finds him when he does that. To move into Margarito's eye where Margarito couldn't see him. That didn't work, so he, he started moving right. Charles Tillman made a pilgrimage to Las Vegas to watch Manny Pacquiao fight. Afterward, I asked him what was most impressive. He said, easy, the footwork. I've never seen yeah. positions that he's in. And he's taking something of a breather this round, it appears to me. But he's winning the round still. I think any every round of the fight so far. Some bigger than others, but he's winning all of them. And Manny finally is able to dodge away. But this gives Margarito energy as he's tasted for a moment the advantage of having Pacquiao against the ropes. This is it. Fights his way out of it. Here you see against the ropes, the best exchange of the night that favored Margarita right here when he was landing a lot of blows and Manny was trying to get away from him and he was landing shots, body and head.
But at the end of the round, that was the only really good play for Ma of Margarita. But I think Margarita should have won that round. Time in, Bucks. Sixth round was Manny Pacquiao still landed the clean of his shots. I thought under shots of his own. And Jim, the one thing we can't measure is round that is called compared to rounds. I thought Manny wanted. Yeah, loves a good scrap like the last round. I think you're correct. I think it's Freddie Roach's nightmare. I think it might. But the bottom line is, you're right. Manny loves to fight. Loves to fight. Loves the challenge. Ring generalship here. Unbelievable. Never saw. And he's what we call a natural. Been getting rid of good trainer that really improved. Well, I'll say this. I've covered boxing for 24 years, and I covered Ray Leonard from ringside. It's a fighter I've ever seen. He does it all and fights everybody. That's what I like about him. See what's kept Margarito up in this fight is his Jim before the fight you said you could see it possibly going a 12 round decision only because of I thought Pacquiao would stop Margarito right around the sixth or seven is 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 seems to be weathering these storms pretty well in spite of looks. Margarito's hanging in and he's having more flurries as the fight continues. Let it down, let it down, let it down. I know, yeah. so my boy. Good boy, listen in. Here you see Manny Pacquiao landing all of these precise punches, even with high defense, he still pinpoints areas where he can get through and penetrate. But perfect fight is the way he fought the last round, punching, moving, in and out, taking advantage of that great natural coordination. Correct. And they look at the fact that Bob Rita had his defense up all that time, and he penetrated Amazing. to defenses. Pacquiao was a terrific, world-class, one-handed fighter. Hanging him against the ropes here, trying to get to Pacquiao's body. That could change the fight. Fighting back with his back on the ropes. And here comes And he Manny. turns it around, hits him again with the left. Margarito nods at him. Pacquiao hits him at will. Every likes time to he fight. Walks. Know who else likes to fight? Margarito. Margarito, absolutely. Trained in the gym with Margarito. And what, he trains low, low there. going 15 and 6 months. He trains himself to fight this way, so he's still going to be fighting. Very strong going down the street. That's his biggest factor, is fighting while he's tired. Some of the punches, taking some. He took a big left hook there. Remember, 18 pounds in the ring tonight. And speaking of redemption for Margarito, so far this has been a measure of success. Fighting in spots the way we used to see him knock out good. But he's not breaking Manny Pacquiao up. The way I talked to Miguel earlier today. Miguel said this is going to be a very tough fight. Because I had to edge. He said, man, he may have edge, but it's going to be a hard fight. What an Four damn rounds. Okay. Four damn rounds. Let's go. This is it. This is it. It's the same. Here you see Pacquiao in the ropes again, which is where every time that Margarita has a good rally, so it's always when he's got him pitting in the ropes. But usually right after that, always, Manny comes right back with a flare of punches. But Margarita's best success has been when you can hear this left uppercut, which is his weakness, right up through the center. Landed in that last round are the most anybody's ever landed against Manny Pacquiao. See, you know, it's a size factor. If it wasn't, it wasn't the fact that Margarita was so big, almost 20 pounds bigger. Henry Armstrong went up and tried to win the middleweight. That was in once the case again. It was just too much weight difference. Oh, well, he got a draw. Yeah, he called a But it's just a bigger man can absorb the punches a little better than a smaller guy. But a regular hundred and... But showing intelligence and perhaps... Range, even though he's a smaller fighter. Pacquiao. If he's in good shape and he can continue to do this, he'll win the fight. Well, Pacquiao's maybe decided that he can't knock Margarito out of to stop the fight because of that right eye which is grotesque at this point knockout style hooks nothing breathe breathe it's the same thing it's the same thing you see Manny Pacquiao do what he does better than any boxer in the game let a guy miss just let him miss hit him with a punch again a lot of guys have let guys miss punches but they don't take advantage of it the way that he does. time Quantos, Quantos, Quantos. Really aggressive, just fighting the perfect fight. Ninth and out the fun, arguing with each other about what was Manny Pacquiao's greatest performance. It's the guy 17 pounds bigger than himself. Touching him up, ruining his face the way he is. 
this will be in the discussion. Well, it's not Ooh. just that Margarito gave away 17 pounds. Right. He's a former flyweight, long beard on Margarito. Freddie Roach wanted to get the Texas State at Margarito shave off the beard, which probably they would have done. Pacquiao, I want to use it as a target. That's a fighter. The machine. He's putting it on Margarito right now. Manny, Manny, Manny. Boom! Another perfect right hook. What a show. Greatest offensive fighter of the year. Physically fatigued both. And this hook, he didn't see yeah. it coming. That was a right hook from Pacquiao. Yeah. Perfect fight. He had another 30 seconds. He's There's one round. There's two rounds left. Throw it all. Good. Done. It's kind of right hook, which is, as I said earlier, one of the best punches that you can land. And he right hand to his stunning left cross. To stopping the fight. Another measuring, he wants to keep fighting. He's not just doing it as a show for, look at me, I'm tough. He really wants to win the fight, even though he's hopelessly behind and no, getting no, 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 Pacquiao no, no. looking towards the ref, asking him to stop the fight at this point, it looks to me. Hey, the ref that is, that's what he's saying to Cole. But the referee's doing a good job, I think. He's, he's right to if he was back to the ropes and being hit or something, we'd be there for the he's rearranging Margarito's face, and it may never look the same again. I know, but it's just, it's, this is boxing. I hate to say it. This the issue is any clean headshots. Can one man take? I mean, to have zero snap. He is waving at Pacquiao. Reminds me of Roy Jones against Bryant Brannan. Jones actually asked the referee. But it's not just completed, just he's getting hit so much, but just looking at his eyes, he can't even hardly see. Similarly to this, corner asked if they wanted the fight, or if he wanted it. Same thing here, obviously. But it's not doing more shots he's taking now. Flush on a, an already badly yeah. brutalized it's, face. Corner Mason. Tony. Tony, Tony, you're good. Tony, last hey. 10 rounds. As it, as they're acting in the corners if he wants to camp. Pacquiao landed 51 of 75 power shots. Max in history have done this. Joe, uh, Joe Kaz. There's no question Pacquiao following through and committing the way he does most of the time. Margarito's not known as an accurate puncher. Leonard. Um, until he felt the time was right. He noticed Hagler slow down against Duran and Mugabe. Oh, to hit. That's hard to say because yeah. he's fighting such different guys A bigger every guy. time. To make sure that he wins the round, make clear who's still dominant, Manny Pacquiao the fighter. This is Manny Pacquiao the congressman, Manny Pacquiao the citizen of the world. That's the man who's letting Margarito finish. Uh, and we're done. Jim, your prediction? Harold Letterman scores at 120. Be that bad in the sixth round. It's a relatively inexperienced judging crew in some ways. Face showing some effects, but not much, considering that he ate some uppercuts and some. 108. Glenn Crocker, 118, 110. Orange winner of his eighth world championship. The fighting pride of Sir. No! His fifth consecutive conquest of a significantly bigger man. Four punches, lands at a super high 44% connect rate. 50. And of course you saw it. 117 landed punches on the side of Margarito's producer Dave Harmon. He was right. And the body shots and... Oh. I really do my best to, to win the fight. He's strong and uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not hurting his punches, but you know... But 
beat it to my to my opponent and he he looked really hard you know yeah, fighting yeah. with Miguel Mukoto he's he's very he's big and to the fight and I want to thank you know I want to thank God for giving me strength tonight and the victory. Verdad pues Manny sabíamos que era bastante rápido bastante rápido la verdad. Vaya esta vez a mi México nuevamente pero vamos para adelante. No 